Today, we're at a theme park to help solve your medical mysteries. If you're anxious about an ailment or curious about a condition, then the Ausmobile is the place for you. That is incredible. Zand is preparing the clinic ready for his first patient. And Chris is out in the park to answer your burning questions. At the clinic, Zand is open for business. Can I have the next patient? Hi, Dr. Zand. First in is 11-year-old Eugene, with a question about an itchy ailment on his arms. So, Eugene, what's brought you to the Ouchmobile today? Well, I've got something really itchy and annoying on my arms. What's the diagnosis, Doc? Sounds to me like a case of I've got something really annoying and itchy on my arms-itis. Spot on. So what we're looking at here is actually something called eczema. It happens when too many skin cells are produced and it's also a chance for Zahn to show off his doctor skills. What I can see here is xerodermia, lichenification and excoriations. What that really means is it's just the Greek words for dry skin, itchiness, rough skin. Yeah, OK, Zahn. Anything you want to ask, Eugene? Is there anything I can do to make my eczema better? Keeping it really well moisturised will stop it itching and keep that skin looking nice. Beyond that, avoiding itchy fabrics like wool, nylon, polyester, things like that. Apart from that, one of the things you can do is get older. So as you get older, it's likely that it'll clear up. And lots of people who have eczema when they're children don't have it when they're adults. Away from the clinic, Chris is out and about in the park, solving your medical mysteries. Why do we get brain freeze when we eat ice cream? Well, it's to do with when the cold ice cream gets into your mouth, on a hot day, the nerves in your mouth contract all the blood vessels around your mouth. Because blood is one of the ways of your body cooling itself down. So you get pain from the nerves from the cold, and you get changes in the amount of blood in your head, and that's what hurts. Why do you strain your muscles? If you move a muscle when you're not ready to use it, you can actually tear all the little fibres that make it work. And they'll heal up, and they may even heal up stronger. That's why weightlifting makes us stronger. It tears our muscles. But in the short term, it swells up and it really hurts. But it almost always gets better. Back at the Ouchmobile, there's a new case in the waiting room. Next patient, please. And it's 11-year-old James with a curious case on his face. So, James, what's brought you to the Ouchmobile today? Well, I have a birth mark shaped like Britain. Wow! Look at that! What's the diagnosis, Doc? Sounds like a case of I've got a birthmark shaped like Britain on my face itis. That's exactly what I'd say. It really does look like Britain, doesn't it? All right, James, I want a bit of a geography lesson from you. Where are we on the birthmark? We are down there, down at the bottom. We're down there. As a doctor, I'm very interested in marks on people's faces, so I've got to check it out and make sure it's OK. I'm looking at the edges. I'm making sure they're not raised, they're not too irregular, that it's not bleeding. Everything about James's mark on his face says it's a normal, healthy birthmark. Why is my birthmark shaped like Britain? There isn't actually any rhyme or reason why birthmarks are shaped in particular ways. But your one is definitely the coolest one I've ever seen, though. It's also probably the most useful, because if you get lost, you can find yourself on a map on your face. Job done for today. Clinic.